Pasta is perfect for a feel-good dish. It's simple to make, endlessly versatile, and with a simple topping, it stays light and refreshing. I blend cream cheese and goat cheese with spinach to make a creamy sauce. Then I toss it with hot penne straight out of the pot and fresh spinach leaves. A sprinkle of Parmesan on top and my penne with spinach sauce is ready to eat. For this dish, it's important to start by cooking your pasta. And so we're gonna use whole wheat pasta and it takes a little longer than regular semolina pasta. What I love about whole wheat pasta is that it's loaded with vitamins and fiber, and we all know how good that is for you. So, I am gonna cook this penne until they're al dente, but it'll just take about 12 minutes versus mm, about eight to 10 minutes with semolina pasta. And it's so filling and so hearty that you will eat just a little bit and feel like you're full. So you won't have to eat that much pasta. In the meantime, let's make the sauce. I'm actually gonna start with the garlic. I'm gonna throw the garlic in there for one minute here. That way, I don't have to do any chopping. And I'm ready to add goat cheese, just a little bit. You see, that's not a lot of cheese. But the goat cheese is just delicately tart, and I love the flavor. A little bit of cream cheese. It's a little tart from the goat cheese, a little tang from the cream cheese. We're gonna add half of the spinach leaves. Spinach, again, very, very healthy, very good for you. What I love about spinach is I can find baby spinach all year round. And the baby spinach are milder um, in their flavor and they're also not quite as gritty. Sometimes full grown spinach leaves can be quite gritty in your mouth, but not the baby ones. They're delicate and tender and that's why I love them in here. smooth and creamy, a green smooth and creamy sauce. Which by the way, not only tastes great, it looks great. I'm just gonna make sure there's no garlic and no chunks any of the sides so it's very well mixed. And we'll pulse it one more time. That's it. Mmm, I can smell the goat cheese, the cream cheese, and the garlic. Super potent, so lots of flavor. Just chop the rest of my baby spinach leaves. I'm just gonna chop this lightly. And I've only used half of the spinach leaves in the actual mixture. The rest I'm gonna leave in the pasta, just lightly chopped, because I like the difference in textures. You know, when you know in your mind that you're eating something healthier, you think automatically, it's not gonna taste good, it's not gonna look good, this is gonna be boring. Well, the whole point of eating light and healthy is to make it taste good and look good. The better it looks, the better it's gonna taste in your mouth. All right, let's see if the pasta's cooked. Mmm, perfect. Slightly al dente, slightly toothsome. Put the penne right over the spinach. We'll just add all of the pasta. I'm just gonna toss it lightly with just the spinach. And I love the colors. The colors are so vibrant. Big part of eating light and healthy. Actually, big part of eating, period. So now we're gonna just add the cheese mixture. And to make this a little lighter, because it does have cheese in it, but it doesn't have cream. But to make it a little lighter, I've used reduced fat cream cheese. And sometimes this gets kind of thick. So to loosen it up and create more of a smooth sauce, I'm gonna add a little pasta water. Again, the secret to a great sauce is a little bit of pasta water with all the starches. Toss it again, see how pretty that looks? A little bit of parm right over the top, some parmigiano reggiano, just a tad. I'm ready to dig in right off the top so I can have some of that parmigiano. Smells good. Ooh, the heat from the pasta warms up the garlic so it sort of penetrates. The aroma just penetrates my nostrils and it smells so good. You don't need a lot of fat to have a great, great pasta. And a little bit of pasta goes a long way. Satisfying, yummy, fresh, absolutely delicious, nothing more to say.